Virtual training is an increasingly effective and efficient means for troops to gain real-world experience around the globe. Combining virtual training with the Air Force's largest annual live exercise opens up a whole new level of experience, cooperation, and participation. Airman First Class Taylor West brings us this story. Red Flag has been an elite training event for 40 years, and now, with the second Red Flag of 2015, warfighters will be experiencing a whole new level of training. General Walsh has a vision for where live virtual constructive training should go for the Air Force, and we looked at it as an opportunity for us within the, the U.S. Air Force Warfare Center to get after General Walsh's vision by combining the world's premier live training exercise, which is Red Flag, which occurs at the tactical and operational level, with uh, arguably the Air Force's best virtual training, which is virtual flag. Live training means just what it sounds like, aircraft physically flying over the airspace going through their missions. Virtual training means simulated missions and threats. These virtual players are integrating into Red Flag with the help of Kirtland Air Force Base. The importance of virtual integration is that Red Flag can now provide warfighters with simulated aircraft participation from all corners of the United States. The best way that I've heard it explained, it's sort of like an Xbox One in the sense that if they're there in Kerlin, they have the ability to hook up with arguably anyone that they want throughout the entire world. Combining Red Flag and Virtual Flag, a concept from about a year ago, creates a constructive environment for all players from participating bases. The plan for the future is units that may not have the funds or the manpower to attend Red Flag can still join the fight virtually and receive the training. You know, what started with 20 to 30 to 40 warfighters uh, eventually ends up with today, which is what we've got roughly 400 uh, warfighters across the CONUS that are participating, with a couple hundred being a Curlin and then the other couple hundred being uh, throughout the entire continental United States. This change to Red Flag has the potential to impact much more than just Nellis Air Force Base. The hope is for this exercise to grow into an event that the whole world could participate in, giving Allied forces the chance to connect over the United States and beyond. Airman First Class Taylor West, Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada.